Hey there, tubers. Redneck Brian here. It's literally about eight minutes later since my last video. I just got back from the test drive. As you can see, it was right there. Now it's partially on my patio, on my my walkway patio. So it drove. Um, it stalled though, of course. I did not push it back. I'd run home, grab that battery right there, the interstate, for that one there. I don't know if it would turn it over or not right now. Um, but yeah, then I got it here, so I had to quickly jump off, hold the brake, put my foot underneath the tire as it's going, because uh, the brakes are loose, it's running my foot over, so, I don't know if that brake works or not, the band brake, no idea, so, it, it, it did go, it, it, and it fired right back up, most likely, uh, since the choke's not hooked up, the choke, I think, went on, and, uh, it stalled it out, but I gotta get this transmission, issue sorted so that's that's major right now i just wanted to make sure i could drive it and it would stay running to drive it and it, and it succeeded so so yeah i got to figure out that it actually tracks not too too bad it goes reasonably straight so that's that's good and yeah so the engine plans on this it's going diesel so this motor will be up for sale as a running as a r good running 16 horse so if, I, if there's anybody out there interested in this motor I prefer not to ship it because it must weigh probably about 200 pounds alone that motor so best offer on it uh, actually let's say a hundred a hundred bucks best offer on this motor so like this is going diesel most likely I'll keep that gas tank and the diesel, I'm, I believe they come with one, but I'd rather keep that one, keep it stock. But just with that motor, the only reason why I'm not keeping stock with that motor is what everyone's been telling me, and I, I agree, it's a pig on gas. So, and also with this rear end, if, there's, if I ever get any issues with this, I'm just going to put a go-kart rear end in this. Same idea as I had with the other one. So, and also any parts on the other one, or now I'm I want to get rid of it if no one wants them they're going to go to the scrapyard but it has a good transaxle and the hood the hood's decent on it and the, the whole frame on it's decent I may try to sell it I haven't decided yet but if I don't sell it I'm gonna keep the front end keep the rear end and probably keep the steering the steering system I don't know yet though but I will be keeping some of the parts and make something out of it someday and yeah that's pretty much it because these don't necessarily share the same steering they the rack i imagine the front end would probably be similar so but yeah this actually has a fully greasable front end there's actually there's not bad play in the steering on this thing so from lock to lock it's not too too bad so not as bad as the other one that one had almost almost a full turn of play this one only has quarter to half so but yeah, you saw it run in the last video. If you didn't see the last video, please check it out. And yeah, it, it runs pretty decently. And the seat is being swapped. As I was driving, the seat's trying to turn on me, so. But now I gotta get that shifter back out. I gotta move that piece of plywood. I wanna try to keep this on the patio so my ground will dry. So I'm gonna have to sh shift it over a bit to get this back on the patio. So I want this ground out here to dry. That's why I'm not walking on the grass too much. Don't want to get covered in mud. Let's go over there, grab my trailer. I gotta go out and get get some gas. Gas prices are ridiculous, but I need some gas. Um, out. But these luckily have full tanks. Won't need be needing that anytime soon. And that there, I'm drying it out for Mr. Redneck Josh. So I don't really want to start it up. So. So yeah pretty much it that's that's everything I gotta get this choke cable fixed it came off up in the dash there what happened was when I had the flywheel cover off and trying to start it the flywheel caught it I don't know if it broke it but it came off up top I don't know if it broke or if it just not came undone or what so I gotta try to fix that and I gotta get a kill switch on here that that's most indefinite uh, it has the wires I just gotta hook everything up so even like a toggle switch or something. I don't want to drill anything 
but you can just do like a toggle switch or something like that or put a solenoid in it and that will be able to start it up and drive it and then shut it right off by key so that would be most ideal is doing it by key instead of using my jumpers so so that's pretty that's, again that's pretty much it so I'll talk to you a little later please comment rate and subscribe and keep it redneck bye for now